everybody, this is Kaya on Fire. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Coming at you with another Pixar video. Today, I'm going to show you how to defeat the boss called the Behemoth. He lives in the Ice Dungeon Castle. He's pretty much on the first entrance. Now, this this guy means business. He really does hurt. He has really brutal attacks. I mean, just look how awesome he is. <laughs> he did a really good job on this boss. Now he has several attacks. He has an melee attack, where he just slashes with his front claws, or punches the ground with an arm. He has a quake attack, and he slams the ground, dealing damage in a thousand unit radius. So he's, he's pretty badass, and the fact that he's trapped in this tiny little room and you're only really given one option, this front door to defeat him, yeah, it's summon. We also have some other attacks. Power attacks, rock full attack how, but there isn't really much information on that at the moment. But yeah, I will show you one of the best ways to kill him, solo. Or I'll explain to you how you can do it in a group, because you really do want a group for this one. First of all, I recommend some really good armor. Of course, you probably won't, if you don't have magician armor by now, you'll probably want something like steel bone armor or iron armor. That's what I would recommend to you if you're going for this boss. Also, you you do want some rocket launchers and some rockets, uh, an upgraded sniper rifle, compound bow, anything like that is good. Fire magic is probably one of the magics that you want to use because it's one of the best magics out of all the magic, to be honest. You can't use thunder magic or dark magic currently inside the building because it just hits the things on the roof. So it's one of the best options. If that's too expensive for you, then you can always go for wind magic, which is really good as well. It does lower damage, but it's more over time. So you'd be like 30, 30, 30, 30, and that will pretty much be it. If you have a team with you, then you're going to want to have someone with light magic because that heals. <laughs> it's really good healing currently. What you'll want definitely is a lot of beds. I only have two, but you probably want a bit more beds than that because he will kill you. <laughs> it's inevitable with this guy. So I'm just going to show you what a few of these things do, and hopefully, I won't fail miserably. Fire magic. Now if you would stop moving. <laughs> I'm there. So yeah, the fire magic is pretty good on this guy. When you can hit him and he's not running around like a maniac. So definitely use that. I'll just give you an example of what I meant with the wind magic. You see how there's constant 30 going on because the wind's there and he's walking into it. This is why this magic is so good to use on this boss. That too, and it gets him bugged out a little bit so he can't move around as much. But my personal favourite for this is definitely the fire magic. So first off, I'm going to show you how to enchant your long neck because in general it will make it better. Modify enchant. Um, as you see when I put these in, it's going to up stats. If you do it several times, it can get higher stats, but it's totally random, so playing with your resources here. <laughs> so I'm just going to, for time's sake, just show you what it ups on screen. And we are going to enchant this to be a fire one. Now, of course, the more you play with it and the more fire stones you put in, the higher chance of you getting one of these, like a higher flame damage stat, or you could end up with a lower one. But on to the next one. There we go. And we're going to enchant this one with the ice enchantment, one of the better ones. There we go. Ice damage increased by three. Now you ask what happens if I just spam it? Sometimes it gets better, sometimes it gets worse. So let's try and get that. Oh, I clicked too much again. 
Oh, there we go. Damage increased by nine. Brilliant. That would do us finally. And then on to the poison long neck. So finally we're gonna do our poison damage long neck. This you're gonna need dark stones for. So we'll quickly uh, modify that. I'll do the other one just so you guys can see. This part's really look. Stats totally random. Right, so now we will give it our poison enchantment. A bit bugged at the moment, but eight will do. Eight is a really good start off point. <laughs> so yeah, this will shoot your poison bullets a lot better than the other ones. So you should have different enchanted rifles for different bullets. So now we have our rifles, I'm going to show you the difference in um, damage numbers between them. A bit weird. There we go. <laughs> so this is our ice enchanted one with ice bullet. They are currently called just an ice bullet. Which is a bit weird because you can learn them lower level than the actual rifle, but oh well. So. The ice one hits for under 200. This is my fire. Hits for 97. And this is my poison. So there you have it. Ice or poison is the way to go. Now I'll show you how much damage the rocket launcher does. Yep, see, 818 damage definitely the way to go if you have enough resources to make these. Now I'll show you what it's like with a normal. Only 96 damage. Normal sniper rifle. Long neck, sorry. This is our compound bow. See, this is pretty good as well. I would definitely get yourself a compound bow. So, I got him bleeding. He's gone a bit more erratic now with his running about. If you want to be brave with this, you can always set up stone blocks on the inside a bit more to try and stop him to do that. You're more than likely going to die with this, especially if he's not running around like a lunatic like he is with me. Apparently he doesn't seem to want to attack me. There are also other corridors you can do this in, in the boss building. But I always find the main entrance is better, because you can just set up everything outside. It's more convenient. So I'm just going to keep murdering him now. So you'll notice towards the end where he's dying a little bit more, he'll do this buff. And you won't be able to hit him for as much damage as you could before. So you'll want to keep shooting him quite rapidly, make sure he doesn't heal or anything. What you're also going to notice, at some stage he's going to change colour, especially when he's on lower health. Then you'll be able to hit him for the full damage again. Of course this game, it's still being fixed up with the good bug, bug fixes. My behemoth has actually bugged out in the standing position, which is quite hilarious. And there you have it! One dead boss. Uh, now his, uh, his loot is alright. I'd say, yeah, could be better for the boss. But it's decent, it's decent. I do think it needs a little bit more, if you know what I mean. He is quite a tough boss to kill. Although, he can be quite easy in comparison to some of the other bosses. But that is it for us today. I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!